Trouble Alert Nation. I'm your host. <laughs> what is... <coughs> I can't do my intro, guys. I haven't been able to make a Trouble Alert for a week. I've been sick. I lost my voice. I need help. I know who could do the intro for me. Do you think she's available? Hello? Yeah, I'm sick and I can't do my intro. Do you think you could help me out? You can? We're saved. What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I am not your host, Gloria Borger here. We interrupt this new segment for another new segment. PewDiePie, my favorite YouTuber of all time, is losing the war against T-Series. You already know about this? Oh yeah? Well now it's closer than ever. Subscribe, goddammit, or else I might get unemployed. Now back to Keemstar, who also reports the news. Just slightly less trustworthy. All right, let's give it up for Gloria. You notice how Gloria had the cotton candy G Fuel? All right, let's get right into the news. Our first story. Jake Paul is so cringy, I cannot believe this. Yesterday, Jake Paul uploaded a brand new video titled, Hello Ninja, the Jake Paulers are here. Ninja versus Tifu. And in this video, you see extreme desperation from Jake Paul to be relevant again. He comes up with this idea that he's gonna run a Super Bowl ad to help Ninja get more subs than Tifu on Twitch. Watch this cringe, roll it. And everyone watches Super Bowl commercials. That's like partially what the Super Bowl is known for is like the crazy commercials. And so I started to think like, yo, what if I make a video and I, I first of all tell all of the Paul Jakers to go subscribe to Ninja on Twitch. Everyone go do that right now. But what if I make a video or a commercial and I pay for the commercial to be played and aired as a Super Bowl commercial, what? You need to understand that Super Bowl commercials get millions of views, okay? And nothing like this has ever been done before, which is why I think it's gonna blow up and I'll get a lot of press around it. So like, seriously, like this is this is the move. Take Ninja and pass Tifu in subscribers. This is an all out war. I'm, I, don't, I don't care if they don't care. So I looked up how much it would be to get like a Super Bowl commercial. I called a couple people, I called my, agency and they were saying it could be anywhere from a hundred thousand dollars to like millions and millions of dollars depending on how long the commercial is what are, you, what are you doing bro what are you doing ninja needs our help we need to band together we need to spread awareness around this video we need to tell the paul jakers we need to get everybody to go subscribe to ninja on twitch and if this video gets five hundred thousand likes which we need to do it asap because i have to submit the Super Bowl video in less than 72 hours. But if this video gets 500,000 likes, guys, I'm going to pay for the Super Bowl commercial. And Ninja will regain his title, or hopefully, ho hopefully, he'll hopefully regain his title as the most subscribed Twitch channel on Twitch. Whoa, that's cringe. And that kid is on crack cocaine. Allegedly. And the best part about this is he says he's gonna get the Super Bowl ad for Ninja if it gets 500,000 likes. Well, it only has 50,000 likes. And in fact, the video only has 400,000 views. Jake Paul has officially fallen off. Like it's, 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 it's somebody played a horn. Please press F in the chat to pay your respects. But other than desperation for relevancy, why is Jake Paul really doing this? Well, I have a theory for you. Jake Paul used to date Alyssa Violet. Alyssa Violet is now dating Faze Banks. Ninja versus Tifu. Tifu is in Faze Clan, and Jake Paul is still trying to get back at his ex. But that's just a theory. 
a game theory. And speaking about game theory, Map Pack yesterday came out with a brand new video talking about how Defy, you know, that MCN network that went down and took all the YouTubers' money? They stole. 1.7 million dollars that's right when the company went down the when the mcn went down 1.7 million dollars of youtubers funds was not refunded he came out with a whole video yesterday talking about it here i am me and 49 other creators with 1.7 million dollars of our money stolen from us and you see that's the thing yeah, it's about money, but even more importantly, it's about betrayal of trust. I have every reason to believe that when we got on that call that day, he knew that he was about to steal from us. Unreal. And speaking about unreal, James Charles, the beauty icon here on YouTube, uh, he trolled somebody and it's hilarious. A Twitter user known as Fever quoted one of James Charles' tweets saying that he was, well, a wanker. And well, that's not much of a story, but trust me, it gets better. Because one of James Charles' fans responded to him saying this. Thoughts on this bird? He responded by saying, she could have it, fella. Nothing wrong with pink hair. Would smash after a few pints. <laughs> and the girl in the picture is James Charles dressed up as drag. <laughs> Woo. But trust me, it gets even better because then his Twitter account got suspended and he came out with a lengthy statement saying this fever official statement on the 18th of January. I was a victim of a large scale deception and fraud. A man masquerading as a woman managed to fool me into stating I would shag him. This has shaken me to my core. I've been feeling sick, upset, angry, got it. And now I can't show my face in public without receiving comments and speculation about my sexuality. This has to stop immediately. I would never shag a bloke, never. James Charles should be in prison for fraud. I'm a victim of a hoax designed to bring my sexuality into question. Anyone taking the piss out of me is getting reported to Twitter. No warnings, no second chances. This incident has left me scared to walk to a woman in the case they are transgender. Sickening. I'm a victim here. <laughs> I'm too sick to do this show. Also in the news, do you guys remember the adpocalypse where, uh, you know, some things happened on YouTube and advertisers left? Well, one of those advertisers were AT&T, but apparently YouTube's in a good state now for advertisers because AT&T has returned. The New York Times is reporting that AT&T is returning back to place ads on YouTube after being gone for nearly two years. However, they're not going to be supporting any gaming content. They said this, marketeers and their agencies have also learned more about the types of content they may want to avoid. For example, Miss Carter said AT&T looks to avoid gaming videos where the chances of unsavory chatter and behavior may increase. See people, this is what I'm saying. Gamers are the most oppressed people in the world. This is what I'm saying, I've always said that. And speaking about mocking PewDiePie, a uh, ninja gave his impression of PewDiePie on stream the other day. And well, here it is. Roll it. Hello. I'm Gloria Bolga. And I know I'm not supposed to give my own opinion, but. Ah! <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. You got to admit that was pretty good. That was pretty spot on. Also in the news. I don't actually know what's next. One minute. PewDiePie versus T-Series. Uh, sub to PewDiePie right now because, I mean, the gap is getting smaller and smaller and we need to make sure that PewDiePie stays ahead for all of 2019. And now for our final story. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Versus KSI. Oh, yeah, 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 is uh, this YouTuber who basically uploaded this, uh, you know, meme song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody's been spamming it in the comments all over the place. I don't even need to explain it. You guys already know what I'm talking about. But KSI decided to go to war against the oh, yeah, 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 yeahs, uploading a video telling his fans to spam stop. And, well, 
KSI lost the battle. Today, he uploaded a brand new video explaining that he lost. Roll it. Well, by the time you guys see this, it's already too late. So, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Operation Blackout is over. We've been defeated. Fuck. Fam, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're taking over. You know what? Fuck. We can't beat them. Join them. Done. I hope you're happy now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been your boy Kesala GWT. Oh yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news today, but I just want to say, while I was sick and while I was feeling horrible and hating life and losing my voice. Two major things happened to me that I want to tell you about. The first one is I celebrated my 10 year anniversary as a YouTuber. And it's just crazy that I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm uploading videos still and they're getting over a million views. And I just want to thank you so much for that. And the other thing that happened is this channel here, we started in 2014 and we just hit 1 billion views. And that is just so insane to me. You know, two years ago, it looked like my career was just completely over. Like the whole internet hated me. Everyone was trying to take me down. And somehow I just kept going and just didn't listen to what everyone was saying and just, just, just focused on entertaining you guys and working for you guys and getting you the news. And you paid me back by continuing to watch and subscribing to Drama Alert. And I just want to say... Thank you uh, to each and every single one of you for supporting me. And uh, I don't want to get too emotional, but uh, thank you. <laughs> if you are new here, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on because as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in the loop. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation now over 1 billion yeah, yeah. views. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.